Hi, my name is Evan Shuttlesworth. I'm an application engineer at Yokogawa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and use our Rotomass Coriolis sizing program. So, first step, or step 1A or B, is to download the sizing program from our website. Uh, the website is www.yokogawa.com US, and this time we're just going to search for it. So I'm searching, Rotomass is the name of our Coriolis meter and so it's going to give us get us to our software page software download page and we're just going to search for it and there it is so our Rotomass and Rotometer is a, actually a combined program. So our Rotometer is um, the less fancy, older version um, in a different instrument altogether. But they are combined in, the, in one sizing. So we're going to save the file. And then I'm actually going to move the file so I know where it is. I'm going to save this in my flow sizing folder. So I'm going to unzip it. It's a zip. It's a zipped file, so you have to unzip it. That one worked. So here it is again. So you're going to double click setup. Next, accept the license agreement. Uh, choose your destination folder. So after it is in installed, you should see a folder in the start menu if not a desktop icon. Um, but you see here is the rotometer. And you should also see under Yokogawa in sizing, the rotometer and the rotomass. Rotomass is what I'll be teaching today. So you click that. And here it is. Um, so first things first, a uh, little bit about the Coriolis. It measures uh, gas and liquid, mass flow directly and density. So today we're just going to have an, we have an easy one. Um, I have my data sheet from the customer and he's trying to measure water. So we click on, so this is the gas tab and then here's your liquid tab. Water is the first one. Um, so this drop down has a list of um, a lot of fluids that we have properties saved for. So once you put in your temperature and pressure, it's going to give you a viscosity and density. So I'm just going to put my max for everything. So I'm going to change this unit to Fahrenheit. And then my max is 120. And then my max pressure, I'm going to change my unit to PSI gauge. I don't know what that error was. Or, all right. We'll just cut that error out. One. So you see my viscosity and density changed once I put in my temperature and pressure. Um, so we're actually trying to measure volume flow. So here's your units that you can select. And we're looking for gallons per minute. And my Qmax is my max 
maximum flow rate, and it actually gives you a description of all of these parameters. Um, so my Q max is 500 gallons per minute. And then we're going to go to check values, <coughs> and it'll give you <coughs> all the sizes that we would recommend. Uh, so the, the best, the ideal choice is the box circled in blue, but if you choose otherwise for whatever reason, you can select a different box and get the sizing for that. But the green um, is going to be our best choice, basically. Uh, based on accuracy mainly, uh, but if you had, if it was too much pressure drop or the velocity wasn't fast enough, um, then you could choose the other recommended sizes. So we're going to go with the recommendation, uh, RCC 39. You can choose your process connection. From his data sheet, he says he has a three inch pipe, so we'll, we'll stick with three inches, 150 pound flange. Um, his density option, it's not, he's not actually measuring density, so, well he is measuring density, but the K4 and K6 options are enhanced density options, um, or you can just go with standard. And then you can choose, these are basically how you want it to show on your sizing sheet, so if you don't like millibars, we have other units, different velocities, uh, we'll change these to more American values. Um, and then pounds per foot. So we'll click next. So it's going in this order. So that's, if you need to go back and change something for whatever reason, uh, you can go back. Um, so this is the sizing basically for um, the range specified or the Q max specified. So it gives you your pressure loss at each value or each um, flow rate, and then the accuracy you can expect and the velocity through the meter, as well as the Reynolds number, and then at, at your min and max that the, the meter can handle the same thing, pressure loss, accuracy, and velocity at the min and max. So we'll go next. Nice diagram showing accuracy versus flow rate and pressure loss. And then we'll go next again. So the next is your print option. So this was Jim Johnson at uh, FT101. Water sizing. Again, this isn't terribly important. You can leave this blank, but it's just more detail uh, if you have to come back to it. So here we have a couple options. You can copy to your clipboard. Um, these two don't actually work a whole lot, um, or not well. But they will in the next version of it. So this is actually 4.3. Uh, the next version, um, the there should be a configuration uh, tool where you can actually um, spit out parameters so you can configure the unit based on the sizing. Uh, but we'll just go to preview. So this is, as it said, a preview of what you would print out or what you could print out. So we require this with any Rotomass um, order that we receive. So we want to make sure it works before we send it out to you. Um, but this is basically what we saw earlier. And then print. You can just print that preview or print it from here or save it as a PDF. Um, so we're actually going to backtrack just a second. Well, actually, we can go from here. Um, so we have a, we get a lot of questions on corrosion resistance. This is just water. So it's not, um, we're not too worried about corrosion as far as the, the pipes. But if you are, um, we have included a, uh, a corrosion guide, if you will. Um, but there's also a disclaimer. So this is um, basically saying uh, this, is, this can be helpful for you, but it's, it's ultimately up to you. Um, and it's not our fault if you go by this and something goes bad. This was just a recommendation. Um, so know your process, but this should be helpful. So click OK. And then we have um, basically all the fluids um, and then a few more um, just 
known to be corrosive fluids um, and all their properties and what you can expect as far as uh, if our meter is suitable or as far as our wetted parts. So stainless steel and Hassel oil are our two wetted parts. Um, and this kind of goes through the ratings. Uh, zero is resistant and then three is not resistant so we wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, so there's that. But again, this was this was this particular sizing was water, so we're not we're not too worried. Stainless steel should do the trick, but just know that we do do have a handy guide here if you need it. If you're not measuring water, and I think that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something today. And for more information, please visit yokogawa.com/us.